um, you have to like rush to get to this massive yeah topic. so we have a ton of top secret um i'm gonna just kick it off with some rtk show a bunch of videos and then show some of the designs that lady and just posted questions then we'll do questions uh right after this so start putting them up in discord so we've got these rtk chips in uh really excited well, about so this so they're uh Neo M8 and M10 modules from Ublox. Basically, yeah. Ublox stuff is back in stock and you can get it. So yeah. we got some samples. And, uh, here we go. We're going to kick it off with some behind the scenes stuff and more that's coming out soon. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? This is better than ice cream. It's me getting back to a 2020 design and wrapping it up. This is the Z F9R uh, Rev3 firmware from Ublox. This is a real time kinematics board. So it does high precision GPS. Like we're talking about centimeters here. Uh, much better than the couple of feet or couple meters of uh, standard GPS. It's a little bit more expensive, though. This is a cool module. Check out that huge ground plane underneath. I actually started this about September uh, 2020, and I yeah. did shield design. Um, and it was actually pretty much ready to go. I ordered PCBs, and then, boom, I couldn't get parts. But now, look, I have a whole reel of 10, or cut tape of 10. This is a like, you know, 200 bucks a piece. So this is like a $2,000 type of components, which is a pretty big deal. I also got these cool um, GPS modules, the M8Q and M10Q from Ublox. So there's gonna be a Ublox party up in here. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? This is a prototype of a DIY USB hub. And I saw her uh, header onto it because I want to test it out. It's a four port hub. So when you plug in USB on this side, this gives you four ports, so you can see uh, plus data, I'm sorry, power, data plus, data minus ground, four times before port one, two, three, four. And then this is a duplicate of the USB host port in case you don't want to use a connector. And then on the other side, I've got one of these, um, these are like no, you know, there's nothing intelligent about them, uh, USB breakout cables. So this is just from a port to header, there's no USB um, chip inside or anything. And then I've got like a trinky in here just to test it out. And then when I double click this, that's green, it means enumerated. And then on my computer, it shows up as a disk drive. So test out all four ports. So this is gonna go in the shop soon. It's a, I think, SL2.1A. So it's a USB to four port hub. All right, dude, what is this? This is America. Yeah. Happy 4th of July. I'm uh, testing out a prototype. This is <clears throat> an iSpy screen. So. Uh, all of our TFT displays, we basically converted them to use this iSpy connector, which is an 18-pin FPC, which means on the other side of this, I can have something like this board for Raspberry Pi. It's kind of hard to see because it's green on green, but this is what the PCB looks like. Um, it's got the 2x20 connector, so it works with all the Raspberry Pis. And then, uh, uh, Phil, you helped me design this. You're like, let's put two buttons, yes. so two tactile switches. And then there's a slide switch for like different mode selections. You can do yeah. whatever you want. And then an iSpy connector and a STEM QT. And then on the opposite side, well, there would be a, a 2 by 20 header, but I haven't uh, soldered it on. But it plugs into your Raspberry Pi here and makes it really, really easy to like make an animated GIF player with different animated GIFs. So happy 4th of July. Board coming soon to the Adafruit shop. All right, what's this? This is a RP2040 Metro board. Kind of what it says it is. It's a Arduino classic shaped board uh, with all the header pins and all that but it has an rp2040 and all the gpio and a micro sd card that's also hooked up for sdio if you want high speed reading uh there's a new pixel have to solder in a debug port swd you know all the ports and everything and the last thing i do whenever i make a metro is i check it out with our capacitive touch screen because it does spi and i squared c uh so oh yay it works love that for us um, this is the shield plugged in uh, onto the board. So now I know all the GPIO work because I tested it. SPI works, um, I squared C works. The debug port works, I plugged it into my J link. So all I have to do now, and the SD, uh, SD card too, all I'll do now is do that final silk screen and order PCBs. Bam! Let's start doing that. Early data, what is this? This is me testing out uh, my prototype for the audio BFF board. BFF boards are these little microcontroller add-on boards that plug into a Cutie Pie or Shao breakout uh, microcontroller to add more capability. So we've already made one with a micro SD card, and we also made one with an I2S amplifier, and now I've got one that mixes them both together. So it's got micro SD 
and amplifier, which means it's perfect for playing audio through this Pico Blade to up to a three watt speaker. So I plug it in. I've got a little bit of Circuit Python code running on this that'll play all the WAV files that are on um, the micro SD card in order. And then get some Taylor Swift going. Got some white stripes going on. And then finally, the happy song by Imogen Heap. So um, very good for making audio playing projects. Uh, very, very tiny. It's all in one, and it's coming to the Adafruit shop real soon. Bam. Early data, what is this? This is LED sand. Oh, a fun demo. This is our kind of all-in-one demo for the Matrix Portal. And this is my latest Matrix Portal board. Let me flip it around here. So this is the Matrix Portal S3 demo. So originally, we had the Matrix Portal M4, which had a SAMD51 and an ESP32 coprocessor. And then I actually designed an unreleased version of the Matrix Portal with an S2. But then the S3 came out. And the S3 actually has a really cool built-in peripheral that makes driving RGB LED matrices really, really fast. This is my prototype, not quite silkscreen ready, but uh, it's got all the same hardware and same pinout, stomach QT and reset button, a couple of GPIOs, uh, NeoPixels, and of course the accelerometer, which makes it uh, perfect for doing LED sand demos. It can drive, uh, thanks to the two megabyte of PS RAM, kind of a massive number of uh, panels. I think you probably drive 24 or 26 of these in a row as long as you can power them up. Bam. Early data, what is this? I am getting to some really old prototypes now. This is a uh, CSI DSI adapter that goes from the 22 pin 0.5 millimeter pitch to the 15 pin 1 millimeter pitch that's used on the Pi Zero and the Raspberry Pi, you know, classic style. Um, so here I'm just testing it out. I have this going to the Raspberry Pi on the camera port, and then this is a, like a wide angle uh, spy camera. And then if you go to the um, monitor, I'll run Raspi still, and you can see that this is working, and it can like, even do some cool, whoa, it's inside the camera. Um, so yeah, so this is working with a nice long cable, and now that I know that all the pins are working out, so I can design a tester for this and uh, order and put in the Adafruit shop. Bam. Bam. Massive. And that's just this stuff we had time to post and share here, so there's even more that we're going to try to get out throughout the week. Uh, what's this board? This is a redesign of our um, resistive touch LCD shield, um, 2.8 TFT. With the resistive touch, originally used the STMP811, which got discontinued over COVID and part shortages, and they kept prompting me to send this chip, and they didn't. So I changed it around to use a TSC2007, and I just finally got around to like, I've gotten through 350 designs, redesigns, and now this one is up next. Um, unfortunately, I left the hardest ones for last, but that's kind of how it is, huh? And uh, so this one had a you know kind of a fresh redesign, um, but I think it should be good with the TSC 2007. Uh, use I2C, not SPI. I think it should be okay, but we'll see. It also you know added a stem QT port. And this is coming soon. This is on off the press here. We these got are from yeah these RP2040 clean. The RTK stuff was from 2020, mid 2021. Um, I designed an RP2040 and an ESP32 S2 or S3. S3 you know, didn't exist at the time, but um, I would definitely use the S3 now um, to get Bluetooth low energy. And these are clue boards. So this is like, you know, um, the clue originally used the NRF52 A40. We still have some of those in stock, but all the sensors got discontinued. So, well, or, or the prices tripled. So I have to do a bit of a redesign on these. Um, we do have some list three MDLs, but I don't really want to use those anymore. And the LSM 60 S33 got discontinued. We're going to use the LSM 60 S3 TR instead, which is like pretty much code compatible. Um, and the microphone also got discontinued, but we found a pin compatible one. Uh, anyways, it's just like a joy. Um, and then this is a version, uh, you know, it's kind of interesting. We had to tuck the, oh, it's going to be. <laughs> My hand goes the antenna. Yeah, good work. We had to tuck the antenna underneath the um, stem IQT port because, you know, we can't move any of the stuff over there. It's fixed position. Uh, and I wanted the antenna to be out, but I think I couldn't rotate it. This was kind of like my best uh, way of handling that. Okay. And then top secret is going to be two part because um, we have a My Little Hacker segment that we're going to show you know, the first glimpse of a project we've been working on for a while. My little hacker, my little hacker, building with you is magical. 
Okay, so before I show this, I just have to make it super clear. Shawshank Redemption is one of the best movies of all time. And the reason why it's one of the best movies of all time is it has a really good positive, because uh, there's not a lot of fictional stories that have positive male role models. Is it papyrus, but like modified? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's such a good movie, people don't care about the font. Um, but uh, the Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman characters, absolutely fantastic one of the best stories buddy stories ever and uh, you just don't see a lot of stories like that you don't read a lot of, you don't see a lot of those so one of the projects i've wanted because stephen king isn't doing cocaine anymore yeah so one of the projects i've wanted to do for like 10 years is to have a teddy ruxpin uh this is an animatronic bear that reads to kids there was one in the 80s another one came out in 2017 with morgan freeman's voice reading Shawshank Redemption, or at least some of the parts from the movie um, where there's just some beautiful speeches and how things, um, you know, happen. Um, so uh, if you can get the bear, um, this is going to be in two parts. So we got it working. We're going to be posting a code soon. Um, you can get these on eBay for like 10 bucks. Yeah, you want like they, five. They used to be like 200 bucks. And um, I'm just going to play the first part, then I'll play the video. So this is from the quote, uh, I miss my friend Andy, it's like this part of the speech. Uh, I don't want to run the movie, I haven't seen it. Um, but uh, it curses just a little bit. So that's not what I, that's not the video that I'm going to put online. But you can you can hear a little bit of this. And if the noise canceling for the microphones cancel out, don't worry, I'm going to play a video in a second. But just to show you what it does. It always makes me laugh. And if I who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. All right, so we have a beta tester, and I'm going to show I'm going to show you uh, the video we shot today, right after we got this working. The new frame headed for the Pacific. Those of us who knew him best talk about him often. I swear the stuff he pulled. Sometimes it makes me sad, though, and to being gone. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. And when they fly away, the part of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. But still, the place you live in is that much more drab and everything is gone. I guess I just miss my friend. Oh, I guess I just miss my friend. And that's top secret. <laughs> so we'll be posting that code shortly. Go to eBay, get a Teddy Ruxpin Bluetooth, or they'll say Teddy Ruxpin LED eyes. Um, they're going to probably get all bought up off eBay soon because this will be a popular thing. Okay.